All right, I just wanted to make a quick rant here. Hopefully a productive, functional rant instead of just a bunch of explicatives. Okay, so here I am at uh, Microsoft Developer Network. Universal Windows Platform Design Downloads, blah, 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 blah. Okay, what all this is about is this right here the visual assets when you're packaging your application i just like like i feel for the software architects and all that who ha worked so hard on this this is outrageous this is outrageous okay 68 recommended tile and icon assets 68 recommended tile and icon assets for a universal windows platform application and look at this look at this this is outrageous like what were you guys thinking the architects who signed off on this who thought this would ever be a good idea like i understand their dependencies because of the operating system like yes people will resize their t you know taskbar there are uh, store icons like all of that is a consideration but 68 files like uh tile and image images and logos like all of these scaled images you guys do realize that this is the modern era where computers are supposed to do all the work, right? So in other words, you have one source image and then the computer scales all the images automatically. Now you would think that that's what these fields are for. Like you upload one image and then it scales it automatically to populate these. No, you need 68 individual image files that all these <laughs> ridiculously explicit resolutions to populate all of your image assets and of course it's like there are workarounds you don't have to do this but it is recommended and like you know you want to cross all the t's and dot all the i's but it's like okay practically speaking here is a much better solution than to have the system the way it's designed one source image very high resolution you know obviously set a cap like let's see what the cap is here for the absolute largest is 2480 by 1200 pixels so that could be your source image right and maybe you make that square to simplify things so 2480 by 2480 is your working space and that is the only image you upload you know or include with your package and then the software does all of these scaling uh, calculations to populate all these other additional ridiculous requirements that are just like like really like 142 but it just this boggles the mind that a modern piece of software and a modern platform has these kinds of outrageous requirements like I just my brain explodes every time I go to this visual asset and like nothing else in this system is convoluted to this degree it's like just the visual assets are insane and okay so here's the even better idea an SVG file, which is what I'm working with here. This is my logo. This is my freaking logo. It is an SVG file that is like in the byte range. Uh, you know, SVG, scalable vector graphics, scalable to any resolution. It is like absolutely minimal. And the reason I'm bringing all this up and the reason this upsets me so much because I've already found workarounds but the problem is when I package my app, it's like 600 kilobytes. It's almost a megabyte. You know how big my source software is? Uh, I mean, my source code for my app, it is 60 kilobytes. My app should be literally 
no more than a hundred kilobytes. Instead, it's almost a megabyte because of all of these stupid logos. <laughs> like, it is absurd. And okay, so here's another interesting thing. The only image files that are supported, PNG, JPEG, and some other, uh, f I can't remember, but um, <sighs> no GIFs. Um, JPEGs do not even support transparency, so basically what do you have to work with? You have PNG files, which the compression can be pretty good on those, but uh, no matter what, like I, I generated all my image files, my 68 images, and no matter how I optimized, no matter what I did, I never never got it down to more than 300 kilobytes like 300 kilobytes this is a black and white uh you know this is like the simplest logo imaginable and 300 kilobytes for all my image assets it's just like ugh, unbelievable i so like i'm hoping that somehow this video will get to whoever the people are that are in charge of this who are like yeah let's let's do it this way let's have 68 different logos each one of the like who does this it is just look at ios look at android none of the other application frameworks are like this it is completely against everything every standard of decency that you would think of for making it easy for developers nobody wants this nobody asked for this and like this is your responsibility as the people who design the back end for your applications like you don't put the burden of uh asset like visual asset scaling on the developer that's ludicrous that is for the software to handle you know I don't know, like, if anyone else is even going to get this, or if I'm just, like, talking crazy here, but I don't think so. I've looked, I did my research, and anyway, like, <sighs> please, uh, like, do something to make this manageable, because right now it's not. Like, photo, you have to use Photoshop like actions to generate your images efficiently and there's like issues there it's just like this is way too complicated so please 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 try to simplify this oh yeah end rant end rant sorry sorry just oh god